If you're doing well because all of the things that I've done have brought you wealth and prosperity, or at least you're extremely comfortable, it would be really great if you could contribute to our campaign. You know how to do it. No president in the history of our country has been subjected to such vicious and disgusting attacks. But they only attack me because I fight for you. It's very simple. They can't buy me and they can't control me. And that scares them beyond belief. Since the very beginning, I've shunned the globalist special interest donors who have made a fortune off of destroying our country. Instead, our presidential campaign has always been funded by grassroots patriots like you. Your contribution today will show the left that nothing can destroy the greatest political movement in history. There's Donald Trump looking for some more money from his supporters based off of his legal issues. So he shot that video, apparently needs to open the blinds, or maybe he does need money because he can't afford no damn lights for that entire shot. It's in the dark, bro. But still, you can, uh, this isn't really the most um, surprising thing from when it comes to Trump as he's facing this indictment. And I guess on Tuesday, his arraignment, he's looking for some more cash. But he's not the only one, because this memo apparently went around to all kinds of Republican grifters that are close to Donald Trump, one being one Rudy Giuliani, who went on his radio show, and he said this. He said the supporters should not come out to protest when Trump is arrested on Tuesday, even if the former president asked them to. Do not protest, he insisted. I'm telling you, Tuesday, Trump people, particularly the Trump people, you know. But even if you're not a Trump person, please don't protest. Don't. Frankly, I don't care if he asks you to or not. For a second, you guys, pause. So he's telling Trump people not to protest. Don't protest, you guys. Don't come out and get violent, because he knows that they have the propensity to get violent, especially since Donald Trump keeps telling them to get violent. But still, that's why he had to insert the second line of, well, I mean, you know, I mean, if you do come out and you're not violent anyway, still don't do it, because he has to try and dispel what he just said was, we're all violent, and when we come out, we get violent in the name of this guy who's getting indicted. Problem, because they keep saying how they're not the violent ones. So he had to cover his ass. Here's a little bit more. Here's where the grift comes in. The money you send, send him a buck. If you can't afford anything else, send him a buck. That's all. He'll take that. I mean, he'll love it if you send him a buck. Do you realize how, how, how um, terrific it is for his morale to know that his fundraising is going through the roof? Yeah, and people That's support what you him need. on the left, and he, too. He's not, he's not even going to see you. They're going to bring him in. I know that courthouse cold. So his morale needs to be up for his potential, uh, uh, these charges and potential conviction over this uh, uh, crime. So the way to help him out is to give him some money. It always comes back to the exact same thing. Which, by the way, as we saw last week, there's another lackey who was on this even harder than Donald Trump or Rudy Giuliani. Remember this guy? Hi, Donald J. Trump.com. Go tonight, give the president some money to fight this bullshit. This is going to destroy America. We're going to fight back at the ballot box. We're not going to give in. How does this end, Sean? Trump wins in court, and he wins the election. That's how this wins. ends. That's how this ends, wins, wins, it ends. Now, we saw him uh, pushing there for Donald Trump to get some more money, and I was thinking, and then we put this whole thing together last week, and I asked our great producer, Emily, I said, there must be other moments. And what she told me was there's too many other moments. They have treated him like crap, his family. Stand by Herschel tonight. If you can give, give. If you know somebody that can give, ask them to do it. Help me. You did last week. Help me again. Well, Rosie should be able LindsayGraham.com. Help me. Well, it Go to LindsayGraham.com. Five or ten bucks from half your audience would fill in the gap. My, I'm <laughs> I getting run. overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. LindsayGraham.com. Help me. They're killing me money-wise. I'm being killed financially. This money is because they hate my guts. How much? Uh, for uh, for being with us much. tonight, we really Help appreciate me if you it. Can. Lindsey uh, Graham. All right, with one week. All right, all right, Lindsey, we get it. Jeez, calm down. Help, help me, help me again. Please help me the third, fourth time. Please, five dollars. Please, I need lunch. Come on, help me out, Jessica. Jesus, it's all about the money, and they haven't seen it. 
I love that clip of Lindsey Graham where he's like, I am being killed financially. They want this money because they hate my guts. That's me every time rents do. <laughs> I feel about landlords. Um, I never thought I'd say I relate to Lindsey Graham, but uh, I do right there. Listen, Trump's hilarious because I don't know if everyone is making this connection, but when he's like, listen, if you're doing well, you know, I'm why you're doing well. Just give me money because I'm the reason you're doing well. Is he talking about PPP loans? He's like, listen, we were just giving out money. Like, just give me a little bit back. Because he's not talking about most Americans when he says that. 64% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, which is more than ever before. And so I'm not sure Trump's talking about the majority of the country when he says that. He's probably talking about the type of people who receive those PPP loans. And I just love the richness of someone like Donald Trump sitting in front of the camera, very clearly reading from a teleprompter, reading the words, they can't control me. It's like, so you wrote those words on that teleprompter because I'm not buying it. I'm really not. It doesn't seem like how he naturally speaks. And then he's like, we've always been funded by grassroots patriots. It's like, yeah, but they weren't the majority of the funding like ever before. He's really good at begging for money though. Uh, and it's just funny to watch. Um, but maybe Stormy Daniels is better at actually getting that money. We'll see. <laughs> uh, the grassroots patriots have always funded Donald Trump. Yes, they fund their funding went right into his back pocket, and he continued walking off and laughing at their faces and going like, "This is this this gravy train will never end. They're that stupid." I'm not saying it. They're saying it. Because how much have you gotten for it? Is your life better? Are you still upset? You still blaming everyone else, and then you're becoming violent over it? I don't think he's done much for you.